Hello, 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 guys. This is my Saturday live. I do this quite often. What time are we? 3.30. Um, I just wanted to come on and I, I tried to TikTok live today and it's a little bit different, but it's fun to be on with you guys to see um, what you want to see, what's coming up and see if I can get a few more of you guys on. Um, I was um, doing some different painting kind of fun. This is what I did for them a little bit earlier on TikTok. And so I thought I would come on. Hey, Susan. I thought I'd come on and share a little bit with you guys. Um, I have been busy, busy, busy. Hi. So look at this. This was TikTok just now. <laughs> My first live TikTok. Actually, I did one a little bit earlier and said, hey, listen, I don't know how to turn this down. So I have to go off and come on. So um, I had like 20,000 people. So that's kind of cool. Um, it was fun to see them get excited and see what see what they were saying. Um, I'm trying to raise my lives right here so that we get more audience and it helps more people see. And um, so I've got some codes still. That's still good. I just want y'all to know this one has been working. So I've been putting it on because people like to see it. Am I um, am I backwards or am I forward? Uh, well, thank you. I just got my hair done and I like it when I get to wash it and it's not so silky so I can work with it. But thank you. <laughs> it needed a cut, but, you know, they always get shorter than you want them to. I like it. I don't know about you guys. I like it long enough that I can pull it back. Right. Uh, so it's correct. Oh, that's good. On TikTok, it was backwards. I didn't know what to do, but that's OK. Um, it was a good try. Right. Thumbs up. So YouTube knows that you like me being on. This is a little sneak peek at what we're doing on Patreon. That's our first lesson so far. Um, we are doing two lessons to um, some this month and some next month. So you have time if you want to join Patreon for the month and go and um, do that whole session with me. So it's a little bit, two and a half hours or so. And that lesson and then you have a month to get it ready for the next lesson. So if you want to try, try that out, it's Patreon. All right. And so I'm um, I'm not painting this today. Guess what I'm painting today? This was just like a demo. So what I'm painting today is a truck. Did I lose it again? Oh, <laughs> we're gonna, I'm going to paint a trunk with you guys and we're going to fill it with flowers. So um, does that sound good? I hope you guys hang out. Um, there's a couple of things that they said. Um, I'm going to start maybe telling you when I'm going to be coming live so that you could tell your friends and everybody help me grow the live here on YouTube. And also um, there's super thanks that they said to start asking for it. So that helps um, build it too. So then we can give scholarships for education and um, when we get super things, we take, and so you can put a dollar to what whatever on there as a thanks for being on. And I, many of you probably already know this. I don't know this, but what I've heard them do is, is they come on. So they take all the people that pledge thanks during the live and they, um, then I got a prize to one lucky person who gives thanks gets a something really special from us. So I got to figure out how to do all that. And so I appreciate y'all watching. All right. So we have so many of you on. Thank you. Thank you. Just came from TikTok. Oh my gosh, it worked. <laughs> so thank you for me. It's Vivi. And where do you, where are you from? Where do you live? So on here, I love a lot of y'all come on and say, uh, hey, Donna, great to see you here, Janice. And um, I haven't seen you before, I don't think, Janice. Teresa, hello, hello. Thanks for the hearts. And please give thumbs up. Um, that's what tells YouTube that you're happy that we're here. You're from the South. All right. So a uh, South is Florida. <laughs> I was just wondering, I was talking. Uh, we just found the relatives through the DNA found us 
And so, well, it was awesome, but they live in Alaska. <laughs> I think that's pretty far from um, Florida, but it was kind of fun. Well, thanks for coming on. And I am going to share you a couple of things. And I want to paint. See, I don't know if y'all can see that. See, we're going to paint a little truck with some flowers in it a little bit together. Um, now, once again, you can screenshot this or go back and watch it later, okay? That's the code. Be sure you put it in before you check out. I want you to know, I'm just going to go over a couple little things before we start painting. These are my everyday um, value pack brushes. These are the 10 most used brushes that I use forever when I started. Those and uh, a couple of little things would make $40 and then you get 20% off. So check that out. And you can also get... Uh, the 20% off on that lesson. That's the last day of February. I'll, I'll share that with you in a minute. So here is my signature brushes. So they're the best ferrules, the best bristles, and the best handles that I have. And so what's good about this is it's a 13 most used brushes. So you're getting all the, these flat. You get all three of my scruffy brushes. And the other pack, you get two of them, the little and the large. And then on here, we have an eight round, an um, ankle brush, a filbert brush. If you don't know how to use those, I teach you on uh, practice strokes. You can learn every brush. I've taken every one of these brushes and I tell you how to load it and how to paint with it and tutorials and they're free. So just go check them out. You have uh, a liner, you have a feather rake brush and you have a fan brush. So all of those are there. Just want to share that with you. And earlier on TikTok, I was sharing uh, the A to Z kit. So that's a really great one. I finally caught you live. Lola, you know how many people say that? That's awesome. All right. So listen, this, um, the last day of this month, this is the Discover One Stroke New Year's. Okay. My first time here. I have purchased some of your books. I love your art. Thank you, Diane. All right. I appreciate you being on. So the last day of this month at four o'clock in the afternoon for about an hour and a half, you're going to learn the, the backgrounds and the little painting and all. If you haven't done one stroke before, I have a lot of teachers that come on so they can go teach this to their newbies. All right. So there's also, um, if you go to onestroke.com, there's a banner up there. We fixed it. So if you touch it, it goes right to this class because we did a fall one and a Christmas uh one and so now this is two canvases and you're going to learn those little strokes the next day you get both classes both days learning both, all this for 25 dollars. and if you want to buy the kit the kit's also there and it's very inexpensive it gives you the canvases and all the glass pieces all right so this is gallery glass so then you can do the wisteria in the background and the daisies you can then do a and the suction cup to hang these with on the window. And if you want to do that and daisies with rosebuds and then a hydrangea with a butterfly. All right. So when you paint on this plexiglass, it's sa same as painting on a glass. You know, this has got all my lipsticks in it or whatever, but see all kinds of glass painting. So anyway, that is on there too. It's called discover one stroke and it's that pink banner at the top. So you can also sign up right there. All right. So remember right here, onestore.com. And there's the number. All right. Okay. So this is, I already showed this a few minutes ago. This is the painting that I just got through doing on TikTok. I also want you to know this class is this week. So you can still get into this class, which is upside down. There you go. This is the abstract peony. And actually, this is easier than doing my simple strokes. And people think they're nerve wracking, but I send you out the exact pattern. And we do one petal at a time together. So that's this week. So be sure to check that out if you want to know more information about that. Oh, and I'll tell you this also. On, we just put on our... That, excuse me, let me start over. That class, you have to go Donna Dewberry number one, Donna Dewberry one at Hotmail, and I'll send you the information, okay? And, um, but the class that, uh, the workshop that we just posted, so go check it out. It's um, One Stroke and Resin, and it's with Donna Dewberry and George Brooks, and 
It is posted there and so many people are join, joining in. So we're really excited um, for you guys to come on and do that. So go check that out. It's right there on the website too. All right. So how would you like to be able to paint all those different flowers? Yeah. So I did a wood green in the background. This is a convention piece of my 25th year, but I just like to pull it out sometimes for you newbies to see. Look how those different purple flowers. I've got one, two, three, four different purple flowers there. And then rosebuds and um, chrysanthemums and sunflowers. So it's just, I saw this and it was real live flowers. And so uh, I painted it to be my convention piece that year. And I do have a convention coming up in Florida in July. So all that information is on there. And if you go to our Facebook, I posted the pictures. So most of the pictures that we're going to be painting. All right. So I'm going to turn this down and we are going to have uh, such a pretty hummingbird. Well, thank you. I was trying to do that hummingbird for everybody on TikTok. And there we go. So see, just a little bit putting some purple in there. And I tell people I've done a hummingbird, which was I, I got the the beak a little crooked once. And I said, no problem, because I was in New York in a studio when I was a nervous wreck. And I said, no problem. And so uh, I said, when that happens, I just pick up and I paint it, uh, it inside the flower. His little beak was inside the flower. And the host looked at me like and went, did you plan that on purpose? <laughs> I said, no, I was just freaking out. Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera down. Thank you, thank you. Um, and we are going to be upside down for a second. If you've been on with me for a while, you know that's how it rolls here. Okay, and then I'm going to flip uh, this around, and then we're going to paint. Okay, I just thought I wanted to do something fun that you might like. And we are, am I right-handed or left-handed? Uh, I followed you for 20 years in the States and now in Scotland, UK. Oh my gosh, awesome. That's awesome. Thank you. It's AGL. Am I right-handed? I'm left-handed. Okay, thank you guys. We'll fix that. There you go. And I am ready. Okay, so I am on a heavier paper. This is cardstock. And so I thought this would be fun to put in a cute little frame if you wanted to. Um, and we'll get started. So what I want to do is I put some of the colors that I was using on TikTok. And I just have them in here. I'm going to go ahead and start with those because that's going to help us. And I want you to, to remember that I'm using Folk Art Multi-Surface Paint. So it goes indoor, outdoor. It goes um, uh, on clay pots. It does canvas. It does a multitude of things that you can paint on, okay? So I don't know. I had thought about um, a pink melon color, but this is wow, Hawaiian surf. They have it in a couple of languages here. So I don't know if I want that color or the pink melon. Maybe I want that color. This one was what I saw. It's pink, but... So one of y'all tell me, pink, pink, or that Hawaiian surf color while I'm getting my tail. Okay, any any preferred? <laughs> it takes a minute for y'all to post. Oh, wait, one more second. Rustic red. <laughs> that wasn't your option, Della. <laughs> Blue, pink, y'all aren't helping me. <laughs> pink, pink, okay. Okay, we're going to get going then. All right, so to make this go in here, I think I'll use some of those other colors for parts of this. And this is just a really quick um, one that I pulled out. Okay, guys. Um, so I am going to use some pink melon to base coat it and, and shade it in uh, magenta. Okay, so I want you to see that we're going to come right around. And that had too much floating medium in it. And I guess it was just in there. I didn't put the floating medium in there. Okay. So we're going to come across here. 
This is not the fun part. I should have base coated this before I came on. Okay, we're going to put some gray in the windows, gray and white to get that window effect. And a lot of this gets covered by the flowers. But we're going to go ahead and base coat it in. And it can be a little rustic. Uh, I'm doing a 12-week course, and one of the finishes for backgrounds has this killer rust that comes down onto the painting and makes it look like you're on a piece of rusted metal. So I, what I do is take some burnt sienna and burnt brown, burnt umber, and I will put it around on something like this or a pot on the edges. Okay, this is going to be covered right there, so I'm not worrying about it too much by all the flowers. But this front side over here does show. Okay, <laughs> you combine pink and blue and purple. <laughs> you know why? Because it's going to be all kinds of colors inside the truck. All kinds of pretty colors. All right, I'm picking up medium. That's what I did. I picked up medium in the beginning. I didn't know. I didn't remember doing that. Okay. So look, see how you can still see the pattern through it? Okay, we're going to come around here and down. All right. That's inside the truck. And there's the handle. So this isn't going to take too long. Okay, we're going to come right around here, and I'm going to do my bumper another color. All right, I put gray sometimes when I'm doing uh, chrome. All right, so we're going to come around here. I'm under the lights today, and I'm a little, I'm shaking a little bit because it's hot. There we go. Okay, now you see, I'm going to, I got, remember I told you a little bit too much floating medium. I'm going to just do all that side darker. Now, it's okay if it's not perfect. And part of this, you're, you're going to get a different feeling when you're on canvas, guys. And this would be fun on canvas. But I thought, let's see how it turns out the first time. And then I'll repaint it, Okay. So I thought it'd be nice to come on a Saturday afternoon and paint with you guys. All right. As you know, I like painting big. <laughs> okay. So here we go. Now I'm going to take and come in here with some of this blue that I was saying. It's aquamore or teal. Okay, so we're going to have that, and it's part of the trim on the truck. We're going to have, oops, we're going to have right in here, the dashboard would be a little bit of that color. Okay, and I didn't do the mirror up here. I left that mirror. All right, so I'm going to come right along here, along the back. Okay, and let's pull out, I'm missing my gray, wait one second, I can do, I'm working at two different places trying to get all my convention pieces painted, and I keep taking colors I need in here and there. Okay, there you go. I wanted to spread out and took the whole dining room table. All right, so we're going to come right here. And I didn't tell you I'm using a 12 flat. Okay, so look, we're going to come along here and grab that bumper there. Now, I'm going to put that first, but then I'm going to come in here with a little bit of licorice or dark blue and we are going to do I'm going to get out a couple different colors here I'm going to put sap green out here okay a little bit of sap 
which looks almost black. All right. Now, if that dries just a little bit, then I'm able to put um, the shading on it quicker. So here's a little bit of licorice. I'm going to put the licorice kind of there by the gray. All right. So, so what's going to happen in here, right in there? I could take a smaller brush. And then I'm just going to shade it. This is medium gray. I'm going to shade it with a little bit of licorice. And this usually has white walls, but they put a little bit of a wash of the color that the truck was and put chrome in the middle. So see, I can do these centers and then come in. Say, if I wanted it to be silver, guys, I paint gray and then I put the silver on top of it. If I want something to be gold, I put yellow ochre and then the metallic gold goes on top of it. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of gray right here. And a little bumper that's gray. And we're going to come around here. And this is a little bit smaller because it's in the front, which is further away. All right. So we come right along here. Okay. Now I said gray in the window. But so I'm going to take gray and have white with it. Oops. All right, so we're going to come right along here and get you some shading on the outside edge. And come along right under here. All right, so when I say I want to shade a little bit, I just hit it with white. Same thing happens in here, a little bit of white and gray. Just a teeny bit of gray. All right. Now, what's going to happen along here is I'm going to have gray and a teeny bit of white. So, we're going to come up here. There we go, guys. And we're going to come around here and do it this way. Isn't that kind of fun? I have been trying to draw a truck like this for weeks. Can't get my angles right. Well, I'm not saying mine are perfect by any means. Uh, glad to see you, Miss Donna. I was hoping you would be on today. <laughs> on the canvas and ready for Monday's class. Woohoo! That's good. I, I just sent it to Michelle. So let me show you what I've got here, guys. I want you to see if you do a screenshot right now now this angle looks a little funky but it's going to have flowers in there so you can screenshot that right now and you can print it okay and enlarge it Della, and maybe that'll help you um it's just this right here came this way that one should be out a little bit more angle wise but because it looks like it's going in but i didn't worry because all this is right and flowers are going there okay So I hope that helps you a little bit. Okay, so. Um, so what's going to happen here? I'm going to, what happened here is my finger rubbed across there. So let me see. All right, so I have some silver. I think I have silver right here. I just real quick wanted to put some silver. So it dries. Yeah. So you can use platinum or silver in the multi-service, or you can grab um, this treasure gold, which is silver, platinum. Okay, so I'm going to come right here with a six flat, and we're going to put some silver on there. 
and I can take silver across here a little bit. And so I can put this on here, but if you do this on here now, we need to shade it with a little bit of licorice because that took away all that shading that I had put on there. But there's also a mirror that comes right here in the back of it. So I'm just going to put that in there and shade it with another color. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. I told you I wanted to shade it with pink. Now you can still see all the lines, right? So I'm going to take some floating medium. And let me just put this, um, let me put some pink right here. This is magenta. Olympia, Washington, hello. I don't know about you guys, but we have lots of nasty, dreary rain. So I said, I'm going to get in there. You can watch TV, Mark. I'm going to go sit and paint with some people. <laughs> Do some painting. Okay. So look what happens here. I'm going to come. Oops, I've got drips of it. I'm going to take that medium. I put the medium on the brush. And I'm going to side load the pink um, magenta. And we're doing this on pink melon, okay? So I'm going to come right along here. Okay, so we're going to come right along here, right where that line is. Okay, so right along here. So we have that nice color in the background. I keep touching the wheels. And I don't want to do that. A little bit more. Oh, I know where I should have put the chrome on the, the door door handle. Okay. Now we can shade. See, instead of just having it there, I can shade that across. Look. All right, so the pink melon gives you a nice color, and this magenta is going to come along here. Ah, I keep touching the gray. And so if you trace that on, you're going to have that line. I have a cute truck that's a placemat that my camper ladies in class brought to me i'm not sure where i have it, have it put right now but they were dying for me to teach that and let, let us make it one stroke so they might like this one and we're going to come around here okay so is that getting to be a nice color for you hi miss paula I've been telling people that we're going to have a couple of small size mop brushes. <laughs> and they said I was reading their mind, Miss Paula. And I told them that you're working on it. There you go. Okay, a little bit more. And a little bit more. Now see what... People think when I'm telling them to float, I want you to see that they think I mean stand this brush up and just do this chisel around it. But if you chisel around like that, it looks like it's a line instead of floating. Okay, do you see that? So I wanted a real rustic looking. Okay. And so then you can come around here really strong and around the bumper and around the wheel. Okay, the floating medium makes that happen. Okay. And let's, let's get a heavier coat right there. So that gives you a little bit more depth. See that? All right, so I still have to get more medium because I'm using it up pretty good here. Now, like I said, this isn't going to show 
a little bit of this mite. But in here, it's going to be covered. So I'm not going to even worry about that. So I will worry about what this looks like up here. Okay, let's come around here. All right. There you go. Now we're going to go underneath, right underneath the window. And it'll be nice to kind of go around on this side. Okay, that gives you a little bit of that depth. And I am going to kind of stand this up here. And take it across the front of here. And let's stand it up right there. And that'll be the window there. Okay. One little bit here. And so this takes a while. Um, this takes a while to get this part of it done. And this is my least favorite part. But my most favorite part, when it's all done, if I do a building or something that I'm painting, um, I love it when it all turns out. And I took the time to do that wonderful part of it, right? So, so you can even see more right here that that angle like, see, this angle should be out here more. But like I said, I it didn't really show, so I wasn't worrying about it. I just kind of put a back in there so y'all could see. Okay, so let's get a little bit more. Here. A little bit more in here. And a little bit across here. Okay. Now, this is silver. See where all the silver is? But we'll worry about putting a little bit of licorice on there later. And then I am going to pick up a little bit of that licorice. And let's put it on the tire area. Okay. So we're going to come around, come over, and same thing happens here. Now what I will do on the bumper is just use my script liner and do a little bit of detail. Okay, so that not really pop then? Growing up, our family had a 49 Ford pickup, so you put Ford. Yeah. All right. So, look, we're going to come across here. I love this when I do them at Christmas with the trees in the back of it. We always had trucks. I can't remember if we had Ford or Chevy, but I think everybody had some of both during the years. All right. And then we're going to put this one right here. There we go. All right. Now, don't forget the back tire. Oh, I looked up and you had said that. I got it. But this little guy, I'm going to put white here until I can put the blue because I went in here too much. Wait a minute. Can't do it with that brush either. You got to do it with a, when you want to know what to do with a one script liner, it's when you're trying to do a perfect little beak or something small. Okay, so this needs to be bigger. So I'm just going to put a little bit of white. 
around there, a little bit of white around there. And I gotta cover my finger that I touched that right there. Okay, we got metallic, treasure gold, platinum on the hubcap. And these are usually white walls, but they painted theirs pink so we can decide. Um, <clears throat> now, so we're just going for the effect. We want to have fun with this guy. And then I can use my mop brush along here, guys. And let's pick up some color that I want underneath. Um, let's pick up a little bit to get that watercolor effect. And we're on paper, so it's kind of nice. We're going to go right in here. I can use my smaller mop in here, but I love it that this can even get a flat edge, which would give us like... Um, I, I've laid it flat when you have plenty of paint and it looks really good. I've done a leaf with it even. Okay, so I'm looking for a watercolor effect. Then I got it. Okay. Maybe we can put a little bit of that black back here. And you're going to map this or frame it so it doesn't matter. If I go longer, we just cut it off wherever. Okay. So this is actually going this way. Okay. All right. So what I want to do I start painting some flowers that come out of here, okay? So I ended up wanting some sap with the citrus. So citrus and sap. Did that bore y'all to death doing all that detail? <laughs> uh, picture it. Nine children and two adults and heading to the lake in the 49 truck, please. Cool. It's amazing what we survived back in the day. I know. Somebody was just pull somebody over because they had a dog in the back. And I'm thinking, in my part of woods, there's a lot of hunting dogs that are in the back of your truck a lot. And that's just something normal when I was growing up. Now, I remember in the station wagon getting in the back window. No, not the station wagon. In the sedans. I'd lay in the back window because there's so many kids we had. And my, I was the oldest of five, and I would lay back there and look up at the sky. I liked it. It's, it's the detail that brings it to life. Well, thank you. But I just feel like, oh, people are going to go away. They won't want to watch it. Okay, so it's alongside the road here. Okay. Now, what's going to happen is I'm going to grab some medium. I'm going to get citrus, and I got the sap over here. All right, and I'm going to come up higher. 
I'll pull this over here so that it's not. Okay. Go like this and then we can come back and put some little flowers down that. I'm just tapping that chisel edge, that uh, angle brush along there. And that's in the background, so then we will start making some little flowers. Let's see, why size brush? I don't want that big angle. I have a couple different sizes. Let's use... This is a 12, but this was a gold one from an HSN kit, so don't think I've got some unusual here. <clears throat> so what we want to do is we want to pick our colors. So I just thought <clears throat> one thing that you can do, guys, is we can make a circle right here of a big flower here of Juneberry and maybe some Juneberry right here and maybe Juneberry right here. Okay. And then I can have some Let's have some pink melon in here with some white. Let's do that again. Maybe it'll be magenta because that pink melon is not standing out. All right, pink, pink. Remember what I'm looking for? I'm looking for the triang triangle of color or, or design. And so I'm going right in here, pink, pink, pink. All right. Then there's a big white flower right here in the middle. So it kind of gives you some bouquet coming across here. One, two, three, and Put a little bit of pink right here. All right. I am going to put a little bit more right here. Okay, just, I'm going to put just because I'm going to be putting some flowers that are going to spill into there. I'm going to pick a little bit of this licorice up. And I'm going to come along here a little bit. Just a little bit of detail. And then we're going to come up here. All right, and this has a um, little bit across here. All right, I'm gonna take this frame down here just a little bit, okay? And then here's the handle. All right, so I'm gonna come right around here a little bit. And I don't want a flat tire, so I'm gonna bring it a little bit more. And there is a bumper. I'm going to pick this up just a minute because I'm going to pull this right along here. And a little bit around here. Okay. So see, didn't I make it come alive? It just kind of pops. And, you know, a lot of people don't get that really straight. I definitely don't. 
but um, it gives you a nice look. And then this is going to come around the bumper. And we're going to come right here real smooth. There we are. And then this comes around here and then there. Okay. Okay, so what's going to happen along this bumper? Right here, and then right in here is a little bit of detail that might not show, but right in here, you're going to come around the bumper, and we're going to come around this bumper. All right, and look at this, guys. If we just kind of make it come around a little bit of shading, and we can put a white glare on it, and then that's done. Okay, and we have a little bit of black around there, and this bumper right here comes, <clears throat> it's gonna um, this fender. I'm gonna come right here, just put a little bit of detail right there. And then right here, it has a little bit of uh, underneath that you see there. All right, so just, you know, you're still on. Oh, they. <laughs> okay, all right, so I just want you to see that then I can put a little bit of white glare across the window just in case some of it showed. I don't know if that looks good, but that'll work. That doesn't look good. Nope. little bit a little bit or you don't have to do that either way I think I like a little bit of a glare okay <clears throat> okay, so that gave it a little bit of time to dry. So I'm going to use Juneberry and white. All right, so I'm going to come around here. And just all I'm doing is picking up white after I put the first Juneberry there. And I just pick up more white. All right, and then we can do a second row. And this is an eight. Okay, just a little rose there. Okay, so, so it's too hard to add all the little strokes. But if you put the background, I want you to see that if you put the background first, then you're just coming in here, the background color on the brush first, hello. Or you put the background in the circle on there, then it's easy to come in and just take your little white and touch, 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 touch. 
And what happens, you don't have to do that perfect stroke. You're just doing criss, criss, crisscross a little bit. Now, this I did do the strokes a little bit more. But look at that one. It looks just as good. And I just barely tipped it, tipped it here, tipped it there. Okay, so we're going to come back in here and get some more white, just white. Now, watch this one. We can take and make a circles around this one with just the chisel. So chisel. Chisel, 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 all the way around. Okay, and just get the look of that. Then we're going to do um, magenta. And I'm going to add a little bit of white to the magenta, to the white edge of the magenta, with the magenta. And then I'm going to come right here. I thought this would look good. All right, so let's pick up some more white and yellow with the magenta and and we put, I don't know if I like that. Let's do that again. Mm. Maybe. Okay, so let's let's not make that a rose. Let's just make that an open flower. We'll put a center in there in a minute. Okay, so magenta with yellow and white because we have another one of those over here. Okay, and. So let me know what you're liking, guys, what you want to see next. And if you are happy with what's going on, I've got some fun things picked. I'm going to practice one of them before I put it up um, for next month. And I want to see what you thought about what we've done this month so far. All right. Thank you. All right. Oh, so we have another pink one up there. So pink and yellow and white. Okay. So we're going to do like a little five petal flower kind of. Yellow and white. Okay. So we're coming there. And there and there. Okay, so we can put. I just want to have a bunch of fun. Them are some here cool little roses. They're supposed to be really big. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so I'm gonna put some turquoise in here, which is. Hawaiian surf, but it looks like a little bit like uh, aqua. So some white Hawaiian surf. Okay, so I am going to have some that come out of here too with some of the leaves that we're going to be putting in here. A little bit of the blues with white. And a little bit in here. So this truck is full of pretty, we can say as a flower truck. Gladiolas, yes. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to pick up white 
with a little bit of pink melon. Let's see what that looks like. Some pink melon. Okay, so. Get some more pink melon. Okay. And when that dries, we can just come in here and add extra white. Or not. I always say what I'm going to do later, but I do it then. All right. Now, it needs some green in here. So we're going to pop a little bit of green. So I'm going to pick up citrus and sap over here. And grab a little bit of that white. All right. So... The white needs to be in the citrus. There we go. All right, little bits of green around there. A little bit more. Put some of that on that. Hawaiian surf color there, little bits of aqua. All right. <laughs> Thank you. It's just kind of fun. I'm glad you were on while I'm just playing around. Okay, so. So we want a little bit of green here, a little bit of green there. All right, put a little bit of light green up there. I'm not teaching much, I'm just painting, aren't I? Need to be better. All right. I want to put a little bit of rosebud on this one, pink with white. Okay, so we're coming right here. Okay, let's get some water off that. I had left water on it, so then it was being not good. So. A little rose out this way. You can go to a size six if you want to, but I'm happy with the eight because if you go too small, it's a lot of work to make it look like something. Okay. A little bit of a rose truck or flower truck. All right, one last thing, you can take your kiss tool, maybe, and you can come all in here in all these spots that seem kind of blank, and you can put little white flowers, which would make it look like, like baby's breath. Okay, so I'm just going to come in here with a little. So you're going to pick a, a lot on your on your tip of your brush of your kiss tool. And by the way, when you go to buy these, these are called wipe away tools. We should say kiss tool on my site because that's what we all call it. It looks like a candy kiss. And it's rubber. So I used to just use a sharp pencil tip. 
but it but the rubber part of this makes it really nice okay so look in spaces because it can overlap over flowers and you want fresh thick paint you don't want it to be drying up okay all right come on you want to be right on the tip i'm laying it sideways that's bad All right, so little teeny spots. And didn't that just lighten the whole thing up? <laughs> you like trucks personally? Well, lots of people, I want to do this as a truck stencil, but people keep telling me that trucks are out. They've been out too long. It's kind of, they say gnomes aren't anymore, but got news for you people still like gnomes when I paint them Leanne Miss Lee she does tons of gnomes and people love them okay nah, a bed full of hat oh DJ that's so sweet you just made my day All right, so it showed, let me put a little bit of this on theirs, it showed a little bit of this pink and, and this right here. They always are white walls to me, so I don't know. We'll see. I think I need to put some white up there too. Wipe it off and grab a little bit of white. Uh, maybe not. I need to stop. <laughs> okay, there we go. And we'll sign it and we're done. Is it kind of fun? See? But you can now take your mop brush and you can put little bits of here. If we have white with a little bit of blue with some water. Okay. You put a little bit of blue in the sky. A little bit of it. A little bit more. Can you tell I'm just playing today? Just a little bit. Yeah, the whole thing gives you a little bit of a watercolor effect. Gotta be careful so I don't hit a wet flower. Okay, so I can do that. But I can also come in with a little bit of white. With my mop brush and put a cloud or two.
Oh, it's got a little bit of yellow in it. Okay, I'm going to wipe that off. And there we go. There we go. Just a little bit. <laughs> it keeps me happy. I know. I'm going to have to sign it really. Oh, my goodness. Let's sign it. And put it to bed. But I will, I will post it. So y'all can see. Okay. <laughs> it's got a flat tire. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a flat top. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and we will see you next time. Thank you for being on. I appreciate it. Okay, be sure, don't forget that you get the special code. All right, warnstro.com. The code is 92440. Get 20% off a $40 order. So pick those things that you've been wanting while that coupon's still good, okay? And I will see you guys, some of you, this week. All right? All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.